Well, tomorrow is election day on the Kansas side of the state line, and um, somebody that you've heard plenty of ads from, and you've probably seen plenty from on social media, and you know, one of the larger school districts, of course, uh, in the county, in Johnson County, is Olathe. It has been a school board that unfortunately has had plenty of controversy surrounding it, oftentimes for the wrong reasons. Jennifer Gilmore uh, ran a couple of years ago for the Olathe School Board and came up just short. She's running again. She joins us on KCMO. Jennifer, good morning. So why round two for you here? Well, Pete, as being the second largest school district in Kansas, Olathe is one of three districts that has a policy keeping a student's gender transition concealed from parents and believes that disclosing the information would cause trauma to the student, they can keep it. And that really blows my mind that any district would have a policy that would conceal any information like that from a parent. So I'm running to uh, keep parental rights at the forefront. Um, The activists in our public schools are really trying to erase our children's innocence. And simply because they have access to them doesn't mean that they own our children. Wow, I did not know that. So in Olathe, uh, if a child tells a teacher or somebody, a counselor at the school, that they are transgender or they want to be transgender, they automatically keep it from the parents or they can keep it from the they're allowed to keep it from the parents they can keep it if they think that there would be any harm to a child they can keep it from a from a parent so you know we we uh, have really moved to a different direction here in olathe i'm a olathe graduate i have fond memories of my childhood in olathe it really is a great place to live work and play but we need to start having honest conversations about our academic performance and what is being taught in our schools. And then when we have policy like the gender transition, you know, we we are cutting parents out and the activists are starting to run our schools. So what about, um, you know, the top issues you mentioned? I mean, that one's obviously wildly concerning, but when it comes to achievement and some of those things as well, what are concerning elements coming out of uh, Olathe, which I believe in talking to Dave Trauber of the Kansas Policy Institute, I want to say Olathe spends the most money per pupil of any school district in the state. And if it's not tops, it's right up there. Yeah, we have, um, you know, I don't know what our max per pupil is, but we range anywhere from 13000 for just the middle of the road kid to 21000 per pupil for our at-risk kids. So we kind of have shown that more money does not equal better results. If you look at those kids where we're spending 21000 uh, their their testing results are not better than the kids that are at the lower level. So we definitely have issues to look at with reading, math. Um, we're 13th in the nation as far as education. So even if the other side wants to say, oh, well, we're doing great in our schools, we're still not in the top five. So we have plenty of room for growth. Um, my, my biggest concerns are, you know, standing up for parental rights, having academic free, freedom where we're removing biased education, and then we really need to start talking about opting in policies with reading lists, surveys, and technology because people kind of forget that we've transitioned, you know, just into the future with technology, but everything your child does in a classroom has data collection on it and how the school is using that. And is that helping or hurting your child? And where are you in that conversation with the data collection? That's, uh, wow, Jennifer Gilmore running for Olathe School Board is on KCMO. Uh, What about the failures in recent years? I know there's been uh, quite a bit of drama with the Olathe School Board the last couple of years. What what do you see as the biggest failures that uh, need to be addressed that we haven't talked about? Well, you just can't have an opposing opinion. I mean, I'm the only candidate that signed the 1776 pledge to keep CRT out of our schools. My opponent last cycle was Julie Steele. She recently told a dad that if he didn't like their DEI policy, he could move out of Kansas. I mean, we're not even at the table having a conversation with opposing viewpoints. So we want to bring back just the transparency and the open line of communication where everyone can have the discussion so all students are represented. I'm the only conservative left in the race. Uh, we have five on the ballot tomorrow, so all of Olathe, Overland Park, and Lenexa will get to vote for the um, at-large Olathe school board seat. Two of the candidates have endorsed me, and the other two have a 100% rating from Mainstream Coalition. So if our conservatives want to have a voice at the table, they have to get out to vote tomorrow, and they have to come out strong. Is there a place for Johnson County residents who can vote tomorrow to find this uh, list, whether it's your social media or elsewhere? 
Yeah, they can go to JenniferOlatha.com. The polling places have been reduced by 50%, so they need to go to the Johnson County Election Office and just double-check their polling place uh, because they do expect low turnout. And um, there's no sample ballot. So they just need to know Jennifer Gilmore for Olathe School Board if they are within the Olathe School District boundaries. And what about any of the other folks in the other districts? Is there a place they can find them that you have uh, worked in tandem with? Uh, it's only the at-large seat tomorrow. Oh, okay. So we're the okay. only one with the primary. Gotcha, but gotcha, the unique gotcha, thing gotcha. about it is because it's the at-large seat, everybody vote. Everyone gets one vote. So Got and it. then the top two will go head-to-head. Excellent, excellent. Thank you for that. Jennifer Gilmore, uh, thank you so much for being here. We'll talk to you soon. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. All right. Good stuff there. We appreciate her hopping on KCMO Talk Radio, 710 AM and 103.7 FM.